why won't my surgeon do surgery on me if I smoke? I love this question because it's so important. The main reason is for safety and to decrease complications associated to wound healing. What happens is that the blood flow is actually kind of constricted and suffocated to the incision lines with the presence of nicotine. So nicotine is gonna be in smoke. Believe it or not, it's in vaping. It's in vaping. It's gonna be a nicotine gum. It's gonna be a nicotine patches. So nicotine is this evil you know, substance in all these kind of products that people use for recreation that causes a problem with wound healing. And so let's talk about those procedures that have really, really bad problems. We're talking about facelifts, where we're lifting skin, removing it, we're cutting it off. We're talking about tummy tucks, we're lifting a lot of skin and closing it down and then having this, in this incision trying to heal. When you don't have blood flow to the incisions, incisions don't survive, they fall apart, you increase the risk, risk of having massive pieces of skin actually just die. If you don't believe me, Google it. See what you find, it is absolutely horrifying. And so I, I cannot urge you not to stress enough the importance of stopping smoking. For my patients, you're gonna stop six weeks before and then six weeks after the procedure. During that time, once I find out you're a smoker, you will be tested randomly. It's not to be mean, it's actually for your safety. Because I am not, I do not want to be part of that relationship where you're smoking behind my back. We do the procedure and the next thing you know, you have an incision completely fall apart. I'm losing massive pieces of skin. And this is all preventable. And it's not me that I'm controlling it. It's actually, you know, the patient not listening and just staying away from smoking. Stay away from secondhand smoking. We have people in the household still smoking. You're basically smoking. It's really about safety. It's about decreasing the complications and they can be completely, completely avoided. If you're smoking and you're considering cosmetic plastic surgery, please, please, please expect a conversation to have with your surgeon that you should stop smoking, that your surgery might not even be offered to you if you're still smoking. Thank you again for following. Hope you learned something and don't forget, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.